So, welcome guys to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Descarender. And, well, today is a very, very special day for me because I finally reached 100 uploaded battles. And there is no better way for me to do that and going up against one of my good friends here on YouTube, Exynon3120 or Alice. I mean one of like the best players that I do know about. I mean, I saw his battle but very late in 5th gen, I think that was about one year ago, and I've followed him ever since. Um, good friend and a genuinely good person. Um, <laughs> he has some things working against him, so yeah, I love helping him out. Like I said, he's a very, very good person, and <laughs> it's the least I can do, and repaying me with a battle is, is too much. It's <laughs> it's, uh, I'm very very thankful and for such a special battle too it's yeah it's it's, uh, it's huge for me so uh, like I said real thankful uh, if you guys don't know him but know me then what the hell <laughs> make sure to check him out he's one of the best one around I mean you will not be disappointed and other than that I mean fast review here on the teams I bring in my safest team that I got that never lost uh, Sesmato, Girder, Swallow with the Boom Burst, Dragalia Specs, Sawbuck with Scarf, and Magneton with DB Light, obviously. He's gonna bring Jinx, uh, Probass, uh, Sato, Electros, Saucebuck, and a Ditto. And Ditto is huge because it's going to play a good role here because it can be whatever it likes to be, right? And I did expect him to bring uh, either Sato or Nosepass in the beginning. Nosepass, Protobass. Um, because Protobass has sturdy and, you know, has the Stealth Rock set, so I just decided it might be safest for me to go that route. Uh, and I have no idea if uh, Sato is, uh, like, specially offensive or defensive set. So anyway, guys, let's actually get to it. So I'm myself just gonna start off with Sesmito there. Like I said, I did think going for him, he was gonna go for Protobass. Uh, he decides to go for a Ditto. Uh, for the only reason of he was thinking that I had uh, Sesmito with the Stealth Rocks. So he's gonna try using that against me, and I actually feel I'll play it here because I can't really do anything. Girdle can wall my own Sesmetoad, but he can't do anything with that uh, Sesmetoad, so he's gonna bring Exoto. I was kinda the gamblet here. I was very lucky he went for Nightshade and not like a Psy Strike or Psychic, so I'm just gonna go for Knockoff here. Um, I don't wanna stay in in case it actually got Psychic, so I, s I switch out to my um, <laughs> Magneton here. And I don't want to do like any risky move at the moment, so I'm just going to try to threaten him out with the Thunderbolt here. Obviously, you're going to bring the Electros. I mean, I sh should have seen this one coming, but like I said, did want to play it safe here. And it did not bring... <laughs> it wasn't a good play at all. And I'm going to bring in my Dragaldi here, just to wall whatever comes in. He's going for a Superpower, so offensive Electros is huge. He gets a crit there, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I get the Hex too, and get the Poison Point activated, so I seem they cancel each other out. So it's kind of fine with that. So I'm gonna know it's gonna go most likely for a U-turn here. So I'm just gonna go for a um, <laughs> Draco Meteor here because I am Specs and fully invested in special attack. So I should have heard whatever comes in really well, right? Right? No. This guy, I mean, probably has just wanted that. I mean, how? <laughs> I can't do anything here. So I'm forced to switch out there. And he sees that too. He's gonna bring the Soul Spike to, you know, threaten me whatever comes in because it is very, very strong with Choice of Band. And I'm gonna bring Phoenix here, and I am risking it yet again. I mean, I know I'm full defensive, and I actually survived that double edge. I'm gonna go for Drain Punch here, taking it out. So, yeah, that puts my Guru back in business, because now he has nothing to fear at the moment, because he is actually back on track. Plus, he's out of a Soul Spot, which is a huge threat to my team, and the uh, biggest threat to Sesmetoad, actually. So, now I can bring Sesmetoad almost freely. He didn't expect me to go for Magneton there, I can kinda see why. And uh, that was. <laughs> I didn't want to bring in my swallow just yet because I knew it would probably set up screens because of the roost. So now I kind of have to stay in. So I'm just going to, you know, try to outplay him here. Just play, uh, play along a little here. They expect to go for roost. So I'm just going to go for nut quick. So I'm going to think they might want to try to attack me, feeling that they tried to predict me to predict me to not go for another earthquake. Uh, which is so obviously I went for rock slide here. Um, so now I know he's gonna go for a Nightshade here, and I know five turns are gone here, um, so I can bring my Astral pretty freely here, and uh, like I said, Lightstream wears off, and Boom Burst render that thing useless. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did have that in mind, though I don't wanna, since he brought the Jinx like that, I didn't wanna risk it in case it was Scarfed, so I'm just gonna bring Magneton here. Uh, I do expect him to switch out, he's not gonna stay in here. 
but I was thinking I might as well get some damage from whatever comes in. He brings in the Probas, and I can't switch out. This thing has Magnet Pull, not Sturdy, and render my Magneton pretty much useless here because it's gonna be one shot about the Earth Power, and now Jinx is the biggest threat on the field because I now have nothing, and I mean nothing, to deal with it. And, ah, <laughs> it's so annoying that I didn't, like, <laughs> play this one better. So it's gonna bring the Electros here. I'm just gonna go for Bring Punch, getting some HP left. I don't kill the Electros, but the Poison will. Which really sucks that it, it mattered so much, because I think that was just about it. It had such a good range of HP left, really. So anyway, it's gonna bring the Ditto here. And because I have Knockoff, I can't really stay in, because I need Girder to deal with Jinx. Because that is the only one around that can do that. And should probably stay in because it went for Drain Punch here. I don't have any fur use of the Dragology because no poke, or we can't deal with any poke there really. So yeah, so I'm gonna bring Astral here. Well, really just to get some damage off in case you wanna stay in and go for an Ice Punch. And Protobus is in again, and I can't do anything. I mean, this thing, this thing is walling me completely. <laughs> and he's using that really well too. So I could go for, you know, flinch axe and get into like four three to four HP each and probably kill it on ten attacks, something like that. So yeah, we're just gonna he's gonna bring his uh, Ditto yet again, and I'm just gonna go for a drain punch here. Because I do do need to get some HP back here. And well now it is somewhat of a stalemate because we both are well fully or have the same speed. So I lose the first speed tie here, but at least I get him in a range where a Drain Punch can kill it, so I'm just gonna do that, if I could. He wins the speed tie two times, I mean it sucks, sure, but hey, that's <laughs> I wanted to risk it, so I can. I have to suit myself about that. So anyway, um, my score of Source Buck will deal with the, the remaining Ditto there, or Sesmetode. And here comes the Jinx, so I know I'm scarred, so I at least can try to take it down, but like I said, it was probably Scarf, so it's going to one-shot my Soul Spike there, which really sucks. I mean, he barely got to do anything, but that goes for his Soul Spike too, so I guess that's kind of fine. So, I did go for a knockoff here. Um, should probably gone for a Drain Punch, consider either way would have taken out both Protobas and <laughs> the Jinx. And I don't go for a Mag Punch next turn here, because I thought it was faster. So, a really, really dumb play of me, because that means that... Um, Exanon can just go for the safe move, which is the Frost Breath on both my Swallow and um, <laughs> my uh, Girder here. So I really messed up. I mean, I should have been in a range where, of better HP where I'll kind of force him to go for a Psychic instead. Because that will have put me in a much better position. Uh, mostly because uh, <laughs> then he would be enforced to actually go for a Psychic, which in turn wouldn't or most likely would have killed my Swallow, which Frost Breath does. So yeah, it really sucks, and I don't have quick attack on my Swallow, which sucks too, but hey, what can you do? I mean, it was a close game, and I think Exynon kept his cool much better than I did in the ending, yeah, and coming out on top is just fair. So yeah, great battle, really. <laughs> I was so impressed the <laughs> how well um, that Jinx just like really covered my team and took me out, really. So, yeah, good stuff. So yeah, uh, thank you Action for this battle, I mean, wow, this was definitely one of the best battles I had in long, long, long time, actually. I mean, when you have a battle where, you know, it isn't decided which one wins until the last few turns, you know, that's the game you want to have, because there is, like, no real winner or loser, at least not to me, because it's just close, it's, yeah, I can't really explain it, but when... It, it feels like you're, we are somewhat equal right into the very end. You know, those games are so fun to watch because you feel like the win or lose doesn't matter. You feel like you accomplished something no matter what. And, well, also, for everybody who's been watching me for all these battles, I mean, thank you so much for all the support. And if you haven't checked out Exynon before, first of all, how is that possible and why are you doing here? Check him out. He bringing some good stuff, so make sure to check him out. He's definitely, like I said, one of the best pocket tubers around. And, well, besides that, I mean, thank you everyone for watching and have a good day, right? Bye.